Okay, as you can see, I am a little bit injured right now, but I'm healing, so eventually this thing will come off. However, what I want to talk about is how to train injured and why we should train injured. That's the most important part. Because if you don't, if you just sit at home on your couch and you feel sorry for yourself, this tends to take over and it gets really dark and very easy to be like, God, I was stupid. I can't believe I let that happen. And now I'm stuck at home and I can't do anything. And it's going me like three months before I can get back on the mats. And just down and down and down and down. And that is not good. Everybody knows that's not good for you. The best thing that you can do is get out of the house. Sure, you might not be able to do what you were doing before, but you can do other things. You can work with people that you trust 100% so you know they're not going to hurt you. Obviously, I can't do jujitsu right now. I can do Kempo. I can do part of Muay Thai. I can watch jujitsu. I can take notes. I can video. I can absorb what I'm seeing on the mats. Most importantly, I can be around my people and I can be around my crew and I can have that happy vibe as opposed to being at home with just this feeling of angst. So keep yourself mentally engaged, even if you can't physically. Super, super important. This is not my first major injury. I've had all sorts of things, uh, minor things, but I've also had a knee replacement. Uh, I was back on the mats about a month after that knee replacement. I still had my cane and I was doing what I could do. I didn't do jujitsu for a few months after that, I think, but when I came back, and still to this day, I only work with people that I really, really trust because I don't want to go through that again. I mean, injuries are a part of what we do. It's a part of life. You're going to get hurt. But if you can mitigate that and work with people you trust, that's even better. A yeah. uh, little tip, when I was coming back from my knee replacement surgery, we had a grappling dummy at the gym. So I started working with that and trying different submissions, trying different gentle positions that I could control. We ended up working to a point where we were doing a seven minute round and I was seeing how many submissions I could get in that seven minute round. And let me tell you, at that point, I got up over 100 submissions in seven minutes. I couldn't do it now, but then that was a pretty awesome accomplishment to get, knowing that I only really had one leg to work with. And honestly, it actually made my jiu-jitsu better because I had to really focus on the details and focus on where my hands are and what the rest of me is doing because I couldn't use that limb. Sometimes an injury can actually better your game when you don't think so. So in closing, guys, I guess what I'm trying to say is your training doesn't have to stop. If you've got a good coach that you can work with that does things properly so that he's not hurting you, or she, I should say, is not causing you any further pain, you can 100% continue your training. You can progress. You don't have to get in your head. Stay out of your head. That's the worst place you can go. Get on the mats, be with your friends, be with your coworkers, be with your teachers, and learn. <laughs>